Hey guys, I'm Matt Akhui, I'm a digital sculptor. And in this video, I'll show you how to use NanoMesh in ZBrush to quickly add repeating details, things like bolts, scale, or armor patterns. So let's just start with a simple mesh. And I'm going to brush and let me find it armor nano and choose whatever you like. For example, this one is good enough. And at the beginning, I think it's going to be like this. Just hold down the space and go to polygroup all and drag. Something like this one. And then we can go to nano mesh. Can change the scale, change the alignment. Make it random like this. And let me change rotation. Okay, this is good. And now we have a lot of control over these, add variation, or we can go with random distribution if you want to. Change the scale. Yeah, we can go something like this. Or the cool thing is uh, we can easily edit the mesh. We can go here and use move brush to change it real time. You can see it. And maybe we can Change the pattern completely. And you can even go, for example, let's use this one, make poly mesh and whatever it is, let me change it a little bit and bring it down, do something like this. It doesn't really matter, I just want to show you. I can easily make a brush, create insert mesh, new, and then create another brush. And let's get back to sphere, mm, duplicate, and let's hide this one, and use this. Line normal and start changing it a little bit. And create the scale like this if you want to. It depends on what you're looking for. And we can easily get back here and edit the model. Can divide it and uh, add some details. Yeah, since it's too heavy, can I ignore that? Yeah, something like this. Let's go and add a maybe train. 
And now we can let's add a cube here. Initialize. Divide it a couple of time. Doesn't really matter, just another example. Okay, this is good enough. Yeah, this is good. And again, create insert mesh, new, and create nano mesh. Let's get back to train, make poly mesh. And now if I drag, I have this kind of rocky shape. Let's go to nano mesh, uh, use random distribution. And as always, we can easily change the shape if you want to. And get back here. Or we can use, for example, this. Uh, maybe this mesh. And when we drag, hold down Shift. At this one, and now we have this index here. First one is for the rock, for example, and the second one is for those arc mail. Let's use randomize for this one as well. Edit mesh. Yeah, something like this. It doesn't really matter. I just want to show you. You can add multiply nano mesh to one mesh by holding down shift. The other thing that you can do is let's get back to here. Is let's go to select lasso and or let's go to polygroup and polyloop let's change this delete this one and there we go now we can use this nanomesh Insert nano mesh and drag it here, or this one maybe. And another one on this body group. Now we have control for both of them, maybe this one. We want to do something like this. No randomize. Or even random distribution if you want to. And for the second one, doing something like this. This way we have more control over the shape. Let me 
by the placement. And yeah, again. Now for the practical use, for example, I'm going to mask this area. Let me use paint. Imagine we have a armor plate here and now we, we want to add some chain armor underneath. Extract, zero, accept. And let's inflate it a little bit to push it out to the body. And geometry, I'm zero, sure. Yeah, maybe something like this is good. And let's go to Armor Nano. Uh, nano Mesh and let's drag it here or let's use this one maybe. Move it normal. And Let's write that plane, add more randomize. You'll get much cleaner results if your topology is even. Nanomesh follows the surface, so uneven polygons can cause distortion. Just remember that. Or we can go to Edit Mesh and change it to this here. And have this kind of chain armor underneath. So And after you're happy with the result, you can go to inventory and want to mesh. Now I can easily select this one and split mass point and start working on it if you want to. Change the shape, let me hide the Placements. I have full control. Just remember, once you convert the nano mesh to real geometry, you can't edit it anymore. So it's always good to keep a backup before doing that. So that's a quick overview of how I use nano mesh in ZBrush. It's one of those tools that can save a ton of time once you get used to it. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out our full courses on Udemy and Skillshare for more sculpting and hard surface workflows. And I see you next one.